Hello friends, Osiris here and in celebration of Golden Week coming up in Japan, we've had two brand new events announced in game. As always, we're going to cover all of the details of these events in today's video. <laughs> So it's been a couple of weeks since we had that seven star terror raid event for meganium we haven't had anything else in game since then and as of just a little while ago we've had two brand new events announced in game one will be a terror raid event and one will be a mass outbreak event which looks like it's in celebration of golden week because all of the pokemon featured will have increased shiny chances and they'll all be for golden shiny pokemon the next terror raid battle event has been announced for pokemon scholar and violet this event will feature the return of Walking Wake and Iron Leaves in five Star Terror Raid battles. As before, if you've previously caught these in your save file, you'll be unable to get them, but you will be able to go and beat them for the high cost items that they do drop. This event runs from midnight UTC on April the 26th and runs till 2359 UTC on the 6th of May. So this is pretty exciting for those of you that have missed the walking wake or iron leaves previously because it's the only way to get these two out of the paradox trio and alongside the walking wake and the iron leaves you're going to have a mass outbreak event happening at the same time running from the 26th of april until the 6th of may and it will feature a number of pokemon in palde you're going to have magikarp and varum mass outbreaks appearing in kitakami you're going to have shinx and in the terrarium in the blueberry academy you're going to have relo the notable thing about all of these Pokemon is they have gold shinies. So you would imagine this is directly associated with Golden Week and the celebration of that holiday in Japan. So pretty nice mass outbreak event, like I say, running from the 26th of April through till the 6th of May, running at the same time as the Paradox Pokemon for Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. And the other thing is, I think from the mass outbreak events coming alongside this Terror Raid event, is the fact that we've had the update recently of the item printer exploit so you're going to be able to go into these mass outbreak events and take advantage of farming for the materials which are going to be useful in the item printer if you are using that rng manipulation with that and a shameless plug for that if you want a full guide on how it works and some dates and times that are going to give you all the best items then i'll link the video up in the top right hand corner for you so you can check it out after this video in preparation for these mass outbreak events dropping of course because these are returning for the fourth time we do have all the information on these two pokemon coming back the walking wake will be set to level 75 it will have a water terror typing it can't ever be shiny unfortunately it will have the moves hydro steam dragon pulse noble raw and flamethrower the additional move of sunny day its nature will be random and it won't have a held item and like we've already mentioned can only be caught once per save file but can be challenged multiple times the item drops aren't amazing there compared to what we've had recently although these might change when the event goes live it would be great to see them return with herba mystica drops just to give an incentive to players to go in and do these raids even if you have beat these before caught them before but like you can see, there's nothing really outstanding that you're going to be able to go and get with these Pokemon. And because of the item printer, you're probably not wanting to go and farm these events anyway, because there's just better ways of doing that. The Iron Leaves going to be level 75 again. It will have the Psychic Terror typing. The moves it'll have are going to be Psyblade, Leaf Blade, Mega Horn, Sword Stance, and Electric Terrain to take advantage of its Quark Drive ability. Again, it will only be able to be caught once per save file, but can be challenged multiple times. And the item drops are pretty similar to what you're going to get from Walking Wake. But like we've said, this event will be back from the 26th of April this week and running through till Monday the 6th of May. And as this pair of Paradox Pokemon are returned to Scarlet and Violet for the fourth time out, I have covered a bunch of builds already on the channel for the best solo builds to take these down. I'll link the best one in the top right hand corner now for you to check out. So if you want to prepare some Pokemon builds going into this event for this Thursday, then this will help you out. These are tried and tested formulas that are definitely going to work. And Pokemon that you're likely going to have in your game, not too hard to get and easy to train up. You might already have them, but just need to tweak those EV spreads and movesets slightly. But they're going to be the best ways for you to take these down when the event goes live later this week. Kind of sad that we aren't getting a new 7-star Terror Raid event. Was hoping that they'd continue with that, but at least we've got mass outbreak event and at least for the players that have missed out before we have the paradox 
Pokemon returning for one last time, or maybe they'll return for another time after that so players can have access to getting them in their games. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. That's going to be everything for today. Let me know what you think about the events coming up, and uh, we'll leave it there. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content, and I'll see you in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.